Hey, welcome to Discard. Today we have another episode of Game Room Tours. This is the series where people send in pictures or videos of their game collection so that we can take a look at them and find cool ideas for our collection as well as cool stuff along the way. Today's gonna be a little bit different because we're revisiting a collection that we've seen in the past. It's definitely changed quite a bit and has so much stuff in it that I could look at it for hours on end. Let's take a look. So a while back, a game collector called Ish sent in a bunch of photos of their game collection and they just had tons of games and especially they really seemed to like a lot of the promotional items, standees, the old boxes that things used to be sold in, this kind of thing. So a lot of nostalgic, just cool stuff you would only see in a store. So to start this tour off, I'll show off some of these photos that he sent in last time so you can get kind of an idea of what has changed in this collection. I mean, really when you look at the first one and the second set of pictures, you're gonna be like, man, this collection was awesome the whole time anyway, but it just keeps getting more awesome, which is, well, it's awesome. So now getting into what Ish's collection looks like now, and it is a beautiful place yet again. It has tons of cool stuff in it. And just from this first shot, you just get slammed in the face with all sorts of really cool store items that were promotional or for selling the items. And like I've said in the past, a lot of these items, they're designed to sell these things to you to make you feel nostalgia. And there's really nothing better than these store displays. So starting off at the left of this shot, we get this big giant display cabinet that looks like it came out of a Toys R Us or, or World of Nintendo. At the top of this display cabinet, there's this big World of Nintendo sign. Now I'm not sure if this thing is accurate or you know original to a World of Nintendo, but it certainly plays the part. It looks fantastic at the top there. It's all lit up like it should be. It says World of Nintendo has tons of logos from all the different games from Nintendo and it just is mind blowing. Now starting on the display cabinet itself, which just in its own right is awesome, but inside of it, of course, you have awesome games as well. He has a ton of Pokemon cards that are up there at the top on the left, and then down below that, he has a bunch of Game Boy games, which look like they're CIB condition in box, and below that, there's also Wii GameCube, and even further, you get some N64 games and other Nintendo games kind of mixed in there. Everything seems like it's in pristine condition too. This collector seems to be going after some of the nice stuff. Now on the right side cabinet, he's got a lot of modern stuff that's still in its box in its original case and it's just looking pristine over there. A lot of controllers are in there, some boxes for DS or 3DS consoles. There's even a full row for a bunch of game guides, which I absolutely love. I feel like every single time that I see a game guide out there for a proper price, I am picking it up. I mean, at this point, you're starting to feel like, really like this is a store. I mean, you've got box stuff in there, you have things in pristine condition. This is like when you walked into a store in the 90s and you were picking Game Boy games off of the shelf and they were just Perfect. But underneath those game guides, he also has this big Pokemon trading card game sign, which appears to be lit, which is so cool. You just don't see these things out there. I mean, every one of us can run into, you know, a Pokemon game in the wild nowadays, but you're just not gonna run into the Pokemon trading card game sign like this, which is really awesome. He also has this cabinet set up with this overhead screen, which is very, very indicative of the times, you know, back in the day where you would go to a store and the screen would be way above you. Sometimes you could play that game, but you would like break your neck just to play a little bit of Mario while you were hanging out. And that's not the only screen. If you go down further in the center there, he has another screen. I think he's got a show on there playing while he's hanging out in his game space. It's just cool. It's just a lot of really interesting details like that, which is what really draws me into this space. Now, of course, up above this cabinet, he also has a lot of boxed items up there, as well as more World of Nintendo signs. I mean, at some point, these things have to be real, right? If they're real, he's blowing my mind here. Now, up above that on the ceiling, he also has a bunch of Amiibo lined up there. That's kind of how I like to do it, is, you know, you could take a thumbtack or, or whatever and just hang your Amiibo up on the wall in their boxes. Now, quickly looking to the left of this display cabinet, you'll see it has a bunch of other promotional stuff over here as well. Now, I'm no aficionado when it comes to arcades, but this looks like a pretty awesome arcade here to the left. Up above the arcade, he has a PlayStation 2 sign as well as an Xbox 360 sign, which is, just, for some people, that's, these are their grails, you know? 
But speaking of grails, down to the left there, there is a Pokemon Snap Machine. These Pokemon machines were used in stores and you could go up to it and print your photos from Pokemon Snap on them. And it was just really cool. A lot of people have fond memories of going to the stores and doing that. And that is in the corner of his space. I mean, this guy has so many grails in his space that he's putting the Pokemon Snap machine in the corner. But moving back to the display cabinets and kind of looking to the right of those, you'll see he has a couple pinball machines all set up and working right there. And it looks like the two games that he does have are Mario Bros and Street Fighter 2, which of course are fantastic choices and fit in perfectly with his game collection and the vibe that he's putting off. I am definitely a fan of these old pinball machines and a lot of them are just so gunked up and messed up from over the years and, and people using them all the time that they just kind of lose that, that spark to them. But clearly here, he has some that are in fantastic condition. If you look down into these, you can see everything is super shiny and nice and it looks like a fantastic game to be playing. Now above those, he has a couple other standees. He has one that's the collaboration between Vans and Nintendo, which is pretty awesome. I haven't seen one of those before. And then he has some Kirby displays up there. These are little standees that they would keep on the countertop in the stores. Now moving to the next wall to the right here, we get into, of course, some more promotional items and just awesome stuff everywhere. At the top of this wall, he has a bunch of promotional posters up there for a ton of Nintendo games. They have Zelda and Xenoblade and Metroid and you name it, it's up there. Under those promotional posters up there, they also have some more posters on the wall, but there's one that's kind of interesting. There's this Super Smash Bros. Ultimate poster or sign, or I'm not even sure what this is. Now underneath that, there is one thing that I've definitely seen in the past, and that's this big Nintendo Switch promotional kiosk. And uh, definitely he has a lot of kiosks here, but I've seen this one in Best Buys, I believe. These are just these big chunky kiosks that'll be in that Nintendo aisle when you're going to buy a game. These have a place both for you to kind of view the Switch so you can see it in person and grab the controllers and play some games. Now underneath that, there's also a display case in there. He's got a Wii U, a GameCube, some more Nintendo Switch stuff and special editions. It's just filled to the brim with stuff that looks like it's in pristine condition or is in a box. And of course there's an N64 in there, but what's really cool about N64 in this space is that he has one of the original kiosks for the Nintendo 64 sitting right there to the right of this. These are definitely one of the coolest things, man. But back in the day when I was a kid, you'd go into the, the video rental store or some sort of game store and you'd see these sitting there. The, the N64 is in there. It has this plastic bulb that kind of goes over the top, but you can actually grab these controllers. They were hard connected to the device so you couldn't steal them or, or break them in any way. I'm sure people broke these over time for sure. And there's definitely another display case on this wall as well. He has this display case to the left side of the big Nintendo Switch kiosk. And this case is designed to hold all of his Pokemon cards. And there's certainly a lot of different Charizards in this collection. All of these Pokemon cards are put in protective cases and they're put in here so they're viewable. You can see them. He's not keeping them in a binder kind of tucked away to be just totally pointless and useless. He's got them there so he can display them and see them when he comes into his space and share it with people. Now moving to the wall that is to the right of this area, we get into yet some more promotional items, some more kiosks, some more games. This place is just crazy and keeps on going. The first case to the left there is another world of Nintendo case. And this definitely has that vibe of, you know, late 90s, early 2000s-ish. I may be wrong there, but it has this form to it that just looks like it fits in with that time period. And of course, at this point, he's got so many standees, kiosks, and promotional items that he's got to put them inside of each other. Because when you look into this case, you actually see that there's a Nintendo 3DS kiosk there. That's the first thing that I noticed when I saw this case is that there's a kiosk inside of a display case. And you know, this is just getting all sorts of, you know, displayception at this point. And of course, once you get over the fact that there is this Nintendo 3DS kiosk in there, you'll see that there's an Amiibo kiosk right under that. But moving from the world of Nintendo display case with the kiosks and tons of display and the magazines and all of this stuff, we move to the right and yet another Nintendo Switch kiosk is hanging out here. Now, I believe this is just like the previous kiosk that we saw. It has the screen and the light, uh, the little screen down the lower left. I don't know if that's off or what, but it seems to be the same. I know they've done a few different iterations of these kinds of kiosks that you can find in places like Best Buy. And this again has a display case underneath of it. And this time he's using the display case to display some cases. He's got a case for Amiibo down there, a case for a GameCube, and a couple other cases, which are question marks. I'm not exactly sure 
what is inside those or what those are for exactly, but they're pretty cool. And looking above this kiosk, you have another display cabinet. This is one of the cabinets that I've really liked. Uh, it's very modern. I've seen these in Walmart before, and these are big metal cases with this big clear window. They're all red. Uh, you can actually get these for all the brands, I believe. They had them for a period of time. I'm not sure if they have them anymore, but you could get them in green, blue, and red. And you'd find them, you know, at at Walmart. And these cases have just a couple shelves in them, but they fit a lot of video games. That's usually what they're used for. In this case, he's used it for a lot of his boxed items. This is gonna keep the dust off them too and just keep them in that pristine condition. And the last thing to kind of look at on this wall is this really cool standee that's to the right of all of that stuff. And that's this Ocarina of Time standee. It's like a mini castle. I actually have one of these. I picked it up for free from a garage sale a while back. The guy wasn't gonna sell it or anything and he just wanted to get rid of it. And it's quite big, you know, it comes up to, you know, about here on me and they're just, they're just a big massive thing. There's even holes inside of it if you wanted to add lighting inside of the thing but it all breaks down into a nice flat piece so you could store it if you wanted to. And this game room has one more wall to take a look at with a bunch of more promotional items like you would expect after seeing the rest of this game space. And I'm definitely drawn to at least one of these items exclusively, but to the left, there's a display case in here that has a ton of Game Boys just locked in there. But that case has a bunch of Game Boys and 3DSs and 2DSs. And then down beneath that, he also has a bunch of the boxes for those items. So he's got the boxes for the 3DSs and the DSs and the Game Boys and oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in there, man. Down into the right of this pod of all sorts of stuff, he has these two slot machines down there, which I think is a really cool pickup. It's definitely something you don't see in majority of game collections. I think I've maybe seen one other person with these kinds of machines. And it's definitely not just something out of the blue here. He has one from Space Invaders and Street Fighter 2. So these 100% fit the vibe of the space. They have cool lighting with them. I'm sure they make some cool noises in the space as well. So hats off to Ish for finding some really unique gaming related items. And right above those, there's one of the things that really drew me in right away. And that's the original Game Boy kiosk. This thing is beautiful. The kiosk has this nice blue, big Game Boy logo right on the top, and that just hits you right in the nostalgia. And as you go down and you see the screen and to the left and the right, there's these little indents on there to kind of mimic what the Game Boy looks like. And you get to the very bottom and it says, now you're playing with portable power. I imagine there's some specs for the Game Boy there, maybe some a list of games that it's gonna be playing as well as the Game Boy itself. I definitely know a lot of people who would kill to have this item just by itself. Like I said, this, this whole space is just a bunch of grails for people. And to the right of that absolute beautiful, stunning piece, he also has a beautiful PVM there. These are of course very sought after for their picture quality from a lot of retro video gamers that are out there. But Ish also sent me a second group of photos where he showed me some of the different pieces that he has around his house as well. And his garage also has a bunch of kiosks in it. But just look at all these kiosks. He's got them all hooked up. You can go up and play with these anytime. They're from all different eras. This guy is definitely after these kiosks and he's keeping them on and playable and in good condition, which is awesome. And he included a couple other photos of items that he has. Maybe he doesn't have these out on display all the time, but he's got a couple standees. These look like the ones that you would find in your typical store at Target or Walmart or, or something around those lines. He ha also has one of these connected arcades out here in his garage as well, which looks really cool. But one of the weirdest things that he sent was this picture. Check out this giant Bioshock figure. This thing is the size of a human being and it is just, you don't wanna open up this garage and see this thing sitting there to come after you. I mean, this thing is so detailed and so cool. I mean, Ish is going all over the place getting some very specific items that are really cool and unique. And with that photo, we kind of wrap up this collection as a whole. This is really a collection of standees, of displays, of a bunch of games and, and consoles that are in pristine condition. This looks like a very well manicured game room for sure. And I could probably pretty easily say that somebody that's viewing this today sees something in there that they just want so bad for their game room. Let me know in the comments below if there's something in there that is your, your just the thing that you need for your game collection. But huge thank you to Ish of crazygamefinds.exe. You can find him on Instagram. He's got like 40 followers right now. So go and check him out and, and see all these pictures of his game room and the pickups that he gets over time. I'm sure he's gonna have some amazing stuff. Pretty much everything in his collection is amazing. But if you like this video, please leave a like on it. 
you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe to the channel so you can get that in your feed. You can also hit the notification button and that'll make sure that every video goes into your feed over time. But outside of that, I just really appreciate you being here and, you know, collect what you love. I'm not a joy ride, a hit and run. I thought I loved you and you thought I was fun. I'm moving on down, down the road. Watch me as I go, watch me as I go. I said I love both ways before you.